What comes to mind when you hear the word trademark? You may think of the name of a company like Apple or the name of a product like an iPhone. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. You're probably aware that your company has a trademark, but you may not realize just how many trademarks your company may have. My name is John Halski. I'm a trademark attorney at Ryan Swanson, and this is Candid Remarks. First, let's clear up some confusion. A trademark is not a copyright, is not a patent, although those terms are often mixed up. While all are types of intellectual property, or IP, they serve very different purposes. Broadly speaking, patents protect new inventions and methods against unauthorized use. Copyrights protect original works of authorship, human authorship that is, from unauthorized copying, display, or adaptation. And trademarks protect brands against consumer confusion with other brands. The most common trademarks are words, images, and combinations of the two. Ryan Swanson is a trademark of our firm, and so is the Ryan Swanson logo. But trademarks can cover a wide range of other elements, sounds, colors, product configurations, and even distinctive smells. Put simply, if it helps consumers distinguish your products from the products of your competitors, then it may be a trademark. Here's one way to break down your trademark portfolio. First, you have what I'll call your primary trademark or trademarks. These marks may include the name of your company or the brands that you apply directly to your goods or services. These marks are typically the first thing consumers see and associate with your company, and so they tend to be prioritized in a company's brand protection strategy. If you have a trademark that covers a wide range of different goods and services, then your trademark may qualify as a house mark, which can provide a broader scope of protection than a normal trademark since it is less tied to any specific good or service that your company offers. Next, you may have what I'll call secondary trademarks or sub-brands. These can include marks used on specific subcategories of your goods or services, such as regional or holiday-specific product variations. These marks may also include taglines or slogans used alongside your primary trademarks. While these marks often receive less attention, they may still form an important part of your trademark portfolio. Another category of trademarks is sometimes known as non-traditional marks. These can include sounds, motion images, smells, or various forms of trade dress, such as product configurations, architectural features, or even colors positioned distinctively on your products. Establishing protection for non-traditional marks is often a challenge, but when successful, they can add considerable value to your company's trademark portfolio. A collection of trademarks that share a common distinctive feature, such as a distinctive prefix or suffix, may form what's known as a family of marks, which can provide a company with a broader scope of protection relative to an individual trademark. Bottom line, if you haven't considered all the types of trademarks that your company uses or how they can work together to bolster your IP strategy, it's time to talk to an attorney. Ensure that you're maximizing the value of your trademarks and protecting your brand to its fullest potential. This has been Candid Remarks, copyright 2024, Ryan Swanson and Cleveland, PLLC. Candid Remarks is the trademark of Ryan Swanson. This video is intended for educational purposes only and nothing in this video is intended as legal advice. For more information on the topics discussed in this video or other trademark issues, visit ryanswansonlaw.com.